Now we're joined with uh, Asian rock undefined music, a fusion of different types of music. Jason, welcome. Well, thank you for having me. Hi, you're welcome. Thank you for being here and uh, sharing your music. I have to say that I, I, I almost didn't want to come up here because you guys are so entertaining. <laughs> I'd rather sit back there and watch. Oh, Don't worry, you'll get your chance. We roll out of bed, funny. That's just the way that happens. Oh, my gosh. Well, I'm going to hold up this uh, album right here if you want to zoom in, cameraman. This is uh, Jason's uh, album called Born, and Born with Truth, and, and different fusions of types of music, rock, electronica, pop, trip-hop, and probably more elements. Can you talk about yeah, Born? Yeah, absolutely. Um, the idea started off as... You know, I wanted to do a rock album, you know, I wanted to do like 90s rock kind of, you know, Guns N' Roses, that kind of stuff. And then, um, you know, as you're in the studio and you start hearing different sounds and you're like, oh, let's try this, let's try that. And then, you know, I looked at the songs and said, okay, well, this song's really about this and let's try some different elements. And the more you learn about what's available, then you look at the songs and say, okay, what feeling do I want this to trigger when someone hears it? And then we played around with tons of sounds until I found sounds that I just, it just felt right, you know. I didn't want to go with any angles on any of the songs. It just we searched and searched until it just felt right. So you hear a song and you go, "Wow, that that's the one," and then you then you just go forward with it. So, yeah, there's I mean there's just so much stuff in it, and uh, it's a lot of that is due to my uh, producer Vikas Kohli, Fat Labs. He was awesome in kind of introducing me to all these sounds and elements that made Born what it is now. Okay. Now, are you from Montreal originally? I grew up in Montreal and I've been here for about a dozen years. Um, but I I always bring that up because it's, to me it's relevant. Uh, I don't think I would have had the the exposure to that music if I didn't grow up there because I didn't grow up in a South Asian community. Mm -hmm. If I did, I might you know have different tastes in music, and, and that's okay. But you know, I, I really like what I have, and I, I think you know I have to credit where I grew up. Okay. Well, I think I'm bonding with you right. because uh, I'm Jamaican born, but I grew up in a French Italian community, Saint Leonard in Montreal. Oh, awesome. And uh, which lends to um, all the tastes that I have in music, which are really eclectic. I don't just have one like reggae, but I have rock to reggae, right? Yeah. So I and get it, and that. And it's a good marriage with fashion and food and all that stuff. That's what makes Montreal so... Oh, yeah, cheesecake. <laughs> yeah. I just, I, that's food, cheesecake. That's I what I think of wrong. Montreal. <laughs> Schwarm. Schwarm. Yeah, definitely. So talk about um, Canadian Music Week. Um, so there was um, one event at Revival. It was the Spotlight in India. So um, Blue Band Music put it together. So it was a packed house and an uh, awesome show. I think there was probably four or 500 people there. Um, and then we did, so I did a few songs. I also did a Guns N' Roses cover, um, a song called Rocket Queen. And uh, my slower song is called You, on the, that's number um, five on the album. Okay. Another artist, Preeta Chabra, sang with me, so we did a little duet. And that was my first time doing that on stage, and that was, I mean, that was incredible, just hearing, hearing a beautiful voice do your song. Mm. It almost made me want to not sing it, because <laughs> yeah. you know, hearing her sing it, it was you know A little it was incredible. intimidating, yeah. yeah. Well, that and just, it was beautiful. And yeah. you just want to listen. You don't want to sing, you know. So. Exactly. And want a compliment. Yeah, yeah it too. is. Yeah. Wow. Preeta Chabra, she's got quite a buzz going on. She's right actually, now. she just finished singing the anthem at the uh, Magic Game. Okay. Yeah, okay. so yeah, she's doing well. Amazing. Yeah. That's fantastic. And, and uh, your album is available on iTunes. Yeah, absolutely. It's there. It's been there since January. So, yeah, if you uh, want to hear some um, rock the way it used to be, but infused with some more, you know, current elements, then yeah, I, I think you should check it out, because I don't think you'll be disappointed. Okay. So you must have, have to have some really tight production. I thought you said tight pants, because I have those too, so. Because <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you do need it to sound like that. <laughs> I was going to say tight pants. I, I take back what I just said. You must have, have to have some tight pants to make music like this. And Absolutely. Yeah. But I'm on, the, on the production end of things, to, to incorporate so many different sounds and things like that, you must, must have to really be on point. And, and, uh, yeah, and, and Vikas Kohli, uh, he's uh, technically sound, but the best thing about him, and, and if anyone has a chance to work with him, you know, he hears you out and he hears what you want to put together and he executes on it as opposed to trying to create something with your own idea. Right. Like he listens to you, hears you out, and works with you to get to where you want to be. So for me, I was very, you know, very picky, you know, and we, we argued and debated every song, every beat, every track, every guitar sound, key sound, until it sounded awesome in my mind. So, yeah, I mean, he's, he's uh, an awesome producer. Wow. Okay. Labor of love, right? Labor there. of love. <laughs> now, I, I'm reading your bio, and it says that your voice is reminiscent of the young <laughs> Axl Rose of Guns N' Roses fame. Yeah. And and I, I would like to know if we could actually hear a little bit of that. Uh, now, do you require some assistance? 
Um, tight pants. Tight um, pants. We got covered. So I guess I mean, <laughs> checklist. And, so I'll give one second. When I when I do live, it's the. Ow! <laughs> yeah, okay. So yeah. Kinda, Feeling you know, that. Uh, <laughs> uh, that's. I, I started singing Guns N' Roses songs, so you know, I just I fell in love with the songs, sang the songs, and then I one day realized that I wanted to write my own stuff. So now I'm trying not to sound. You know, I'm trying to do my own sound, but yeah, there's definitely some Axl Rose in me. So. I, you know, I hope that doesn't go away. <laughs> How does your family embrace your your musical aspirations? Uh, you know, they they my my parents come to every show, um, so my wow. mom's kind of my little you know she'll critique my voice and she'll say you should do this, you should do that, and um, my dad's the one kind of says you know I I like what you did with this and I like what you did with that, so he uh, they're, you know they're my biggest fans, so it's good to have fans. Yeah. fans. I have fans <laughs> too. So we we all you know we all have two fans. So. I have two fans. Yeah, I have three. Actually, yeah. show off. <laughs> Fancy fans over yeah. here. Three fans. Yeah, that's how we work it out. That's now why I'm the co-host. <laughs> what can we expect of you next? Do you have any other performances coming up? I uh, saw you at Real World actually on Wednesday. Yeah. So, so just been focusing on the video premiere, which is tonight at uh, 10 o'clock, and um, um, probably doing North by Northeast. Um, there's another festival in Mississauga happening in August, and right now the plan is to go to India. Um, in September, so you know that'll all be on the uh, Facebook page, okay. so everyone can. Uh, Is it your first that. time visiting India? Uh, first time in 20 years. In so 20 years. Basically, my first time. Okay. Now, were you born in Montreal? I was actually born here, moved there when I was very small, okay. and then back here for the past. Okay. So years. do you go back and forth? Do you visit? Yeah. 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 I love it there. I, yeah. I, I miss it. Yeah, me too. Yeah. I, I I totally understand. I was there two weeks ago, and I was like, oh, yeah. heartbroken. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, I'm very happy that you're here and, and sharing your music. And you've got something for us today. You have a little video that you want to yes. show. Yes. Um, so the video, it's my first release. Um, it's, the song is called Inside. And when you see the video, you'll know exactly what it's about. But that's premiering in about an hour and a half at uh, Canada Square as a part of Real World Film Festival. So mm -hmm. big thanks to them for making it happen. Yeah. Sasha Stoltz Sasha for setting Mo, this up. Sasha and who uh, put, you know, you know, I guess recognized you know what we had and and the director, Mike Gutt, who's here from L.A. to watch the premiere as well. So, uh, yeah, we're excited to see it and, and to see it on the big screen. So, okay. so, well, so you're dropping it the first time here. Yeah, I don't have Exclusive on yeah, Anna Goes On. Yeah, so. That's exciting. Yeah. Thank you very much for that. Well, thanks privilege. for having me. I much appreciate right. it. You're welcome. So we're going to watch, again, Inside. Inside. And I get a little sample of that. And then uh, please watch again at the Canada Square Center tonight. Yeah, 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock. And uh, where else can people find you? Um, my Facebook page is Jason is Rock Music, um, and I have a YouTube page, so it's youtube.com slash Jason is Rock Music, uh, myspace.com slash Jason is Rock Music, twitter.com slash Jason is Rock Music, so if you look up Jason and Rock Music, you'll find... Uh, and Jason is spelled how? J-S-I-N. Okay, that's All important. Lowercase. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. great. Thank you very much Thank again. Thank you. Okay. All right, so we're going to take a look at uh, Inside by Jason, live on And the Beat Goes On, a little sample. <laughs> 